This special edition of ABC 10 News starts now. The pandemic has left many college students struggling to pay for school. Our ABC tennis reporter Jennifer De La Cruz spoke to one student finding ways to not only support himself, but also his family. Mesa College might look like a ghost town, but students like Darian Duong are still learning, navigating through the pandemic in more ways than one. Before COVID-19, the second year radiology student went to school full time while juggling two jobs to support his family. He worked as a student ambassador during the week and at a gym on the weekends. But when the gym shut down, he was suddenly fired. It, it automated thing of like, like, what else can I do? Like, how else can I bring bring in money for my, for my family? The pandemic also put his dad out of work, leaving Darian and his mom with the weight of getting by. Their income stream was cut in half now just barely covering the cost of rent, a car, books, and food. Like, do I either want to like be like help my family financially by getting another job, or do I want to like risk getting COVID while being out, out in like the front lines? But through their toughest times came the best advice, his mother telling him this. Money comes and goes no matter what, but education is going to bring you towards your real goal. So he found new ways to get by, like taking advantage of food drives on campus and applying for CARES Act funding. Under the pressure of school, work, and supporting his parents, he never let it break his spirit. I felt my whole focus for quarantine was just grind, grind, get money, like just try to just try to reach it as fast as you can. But for me now, it's just kind of like take a step back, just like focus on mental health. Darian says he's making it all work now, but he plans to reapply to his old job at the gym when he's ready. Jennifer Dela Cruz, ABC 10 News. And other students struggling to pay for school may also be eligible for federal funding. They are encouraged to reach out to their schools for more information.